Main State Music Theater in Brunswick is teaming up with the Public Theater in Lewiston to present the musical Grease. It's going to be on stage for only a few weeks, and we caught up with the two lead actors, Tanner Calicut and Katie Burnjack. You can expect some pretty good chemistry between the two on stage because they've been training together at Elon University in North Carolina. It's been a whirlwind month for Tanner, who is about to move to New York. Yeah, it was wild. Um, uh, so I got a text message in the middle of the night and from a number I did not know and uh, said it was Kurt Dale Clark. They reached out with an offer and then the next day I talked about like details and dates of because I was like you said in the middle of graduating college and so um, luckily enough they gave me those days off so the next morning they put me on a plane and then here I am in Maine. And you had to fly home for graduation. Yeah, so I was here for about four days and so I'm doing Grease and I'm doing Snow White, one of the TYA shows. And I came in about a week late to the Snow White process, uh, rehearsed for four days, flew home, graduated and flew home, flew back here the next morning. So it's been a whirlwind. Yeah. You found out you were playing Sandy. You guys, having gone to college together, it's got to be nice to already have that background history with each other. Yeah. Hugely. We both have very similar processes, obviously, because we've had the same teachers. So like working together is honestly a dream. It's yeah. so nice. And it's, I trust him completely. I know like I'm safe in the rehearsal space and it's, it's yeah, fun too. It's great. It's kind of second nature at this point. And to come into a process like that doesn't happen often in this business because it's usually, oh, hi, I'm Tanner, nice I'm you. Amy. And you start rehearsing and then the director's like, okay, let's start kissing, you know, all that kind of stuff. But yeah. to have uh, that connection already and to know each other and to be familiar with one another's boundaries in that sense is really nice. It makes the process pretty seamless. Makes it a lot easier. I was going to say, did you expect to this early on? I mean, you probably knew eventually your careers would intertwine, but did you expect early on to be working together outside of school? <laughs> no, oh, I don't think so. Because I'm obviously, I still got two more years left. And weirdly enough in my head, I'm like, well, they're graduating. I'll yeah. see them two years later. I'll see them when we all moved to New York. So it was kind of a shock. It was exciting. Yeah. It was fun. <laughs> Are there challenges with this version of Grease? We all know the movie so well, and the musical is a lot like the movie, but there's differences, and there's new songs, and there's stuff you've never heard of, and it's trying to like keep what people are expecting, but also bringing it to yourself, and not trying to copy Olivia Newton-John, not trying to copy everything John Travolta did, yeah. and making it your own. I was gonna say, that's gonna be difficult to sort of renew that character that so many people know so well. Yeah, definitely. It's it's those are big shoes to feel, you know, and it's it's an iconic role, it's an iconic film. Yeah. And I think that's the thing with something like Grease, um, you run that chance of not pleasing the audience by giving them exactly what they're expecting. Um, and it's like Katie was saying, it's that fine line of giving them that and like giving them that satisfaction of, oh, this is what I know, this is the Grease I know, and then to still have the character mean something to you and not just feel like you're going through the motions. Let me ask you this, what do you enjoy most about the show? The music. Yeah. I love, it's such a bop, and like that's the easiest way to explain it, and it's, it starts playing, we just get, listened to the band yesterday, we got yeah. the band in, and the energy is through the roof. It's so yeah. much fun. It's oh. awesome. I, I mean, the music, I think also for me, the dancing, oddly enough, because I'm not a dancer. <laughs> um, I call myself a mover. <laughs> when I do musical theater, I'm someone that parks and barks, is what I say. But I, uh, <laughs> it's fun. So Ray Dumont, our choreographer, has, has us all hopping, but me specifically, because yeah. it's out of my element a little. Yeah. That's true. Danny does do a lot of dancing. Yeah. Sandy does not do any dancing, yeah. and it's very weird for me because I the consider track myself I a dancer. That's and the so track. I'm like, oh, fun! I want to be up there too. And it said it's me backstage, just like doing the choreos tinily in the background. Yeah. People who come to Main State Music Theater this summer are going to see a lot of you. Yeah. You have a summer internship. What does that mean for you? What is it's huge. It's this is actually my first professional contract that I've gotten, which I'm very, very thankful for. I had an ankle injury last year that prevented me from working and doing a lot of stuff. Um, I think the most exciting thing is the community and like getting to know people. I went to Joshua's for lunch today and our waitress was like, hey, you guys are back. How are you doing? What's going on? What's the schedule today? And being able to foster those relationships and getting to meet new people, all the cast that come through, it's 
really special. I'm excited. Welcome to Small Town Maine. Yeah, people are going <laughs> to recognize you. And, and my favorite phrase of the day, a musical theater actor who parks and barks. Parks and barks. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's his, that's his M.O. All right, Grease is on stage at the Public Theater in Lewiston through June 30th. You can find ticket information in the 207 section of our website or our mobile app.